what is happening guys and welcome back to my channel it has been a long time since I've uploaded a video um, I just wanted to take two seconds to talk about that guys um, unfortunately I'm having a lot of issues with the internet connection where I'm currently at um, so it drops out a lot we have a lot of um, issues with the speeds uh, unfortunately I've pretty much been told there's not a lot I can do uh, about that so I am planning on hopefully moving sometime next year um, but until that happens, guys, pretty much video uploads are just going to be really sporadic. Um, I'm going to obviously try and get as much content out to you guys as possible. I have a heap, heap lined up, um, either stuff coming in boxes or stuff that I've already recorded that's sitting there waiting to upload. Um, but unfortunately, I can't upload it where I am. Um, it's just too slow. It takes up too much of my usage for the month. So I have to go to either my parents' place or my in-laws' place to upload stuff. So unfortunately, that means that things will come a lot slower than they used to. I can't be doing my Monday to Friday, Monday and Friday videos, guys. Um, but I'll still be uploading. Um, it just won't be as timed as it used to be. So now that we've got that out of the way, guys, I'm super excited for this video. New York City Comic Con, I guess you can probably tell by the thumbnail, guys. Um, I went a bit crazy this year. I, I do it with every con. I always think that there's like nothing that I want and then when they actually come out and I see them, there's more that I want. Anyway, because of that actually, um, I did get uh, my orders in four different lots. So unfortunately we are still waiting for one order to come, um, which is a bit of a bummer because there's one thing in there that I'm really excited about. But I thought I couldn't wait any longer. I wanted to do a video and kind of go through everything that I got, guys. So we'll start off with the pops that I got um, from actually where I work um, at EB Games. So uh, on the original day, I picked up probably a very sorely, uh, probably one of the more um, highly sought after pops, guys. We got Chrome Batman. Now he looks awesome. Um, really, I wasn't going to pick him up, to be honest. Um, and then my store specifically only got a few in stock. I think we got seven of them. So we got the two Game of Thrones ones, um, Bogota's Snape, uh, Old Man Logan, and there are a few others. And this is one of them that we got in the first wave. And I was just really impressed with how nice it looks. It's, um, obviously the sculpt's pretty cool. I like that they've gone with that classic new Batman. Um, but it's just, there's something about Chrome, and I, it's funny because I hated the blue one. Um, I wasn't a fan of the blue Chrome Batman that they did for San Diego Comic Con. But this this one, I don't know. Uh, it was one of those things that just as soon as I saw it, I, I had to have it. So we got Black Chrome Batman, guys. The other one I picked up from work was Old Man Logan, which really excited about as well. Again, I don't even collect Marvel anymore, although... Um, you guys might have seen I have the Old Man Logan um, Diamond Select PVC diorama. So I got him to go with that. Um, he looks badass. I, again, another one of those pops that when I actually saw it, um, I just got really excited and thought that I had to grab him. Usual con stuff, guys. I spend way too much money. Um, the next one I got from work, which these are actually delayed. Actually, no, we'll go with this one. This one wasn't delayed. Uh, I didn't get it from work, but I did get it from what we call our sister store, which um, in Australia they have a store called Zing, um, which also um, pretty much sells like pops and all kinds of pop culture stuff, where it's EB Games, the store I work for, sells mainly games. Um, but I got Ickus, guys, Angry Ickus, um, cool pop. Um, I have not really collected a lot of the, the Nickelodeon ones. I'm a big fan of certain Nickelodeon shows, not a big fan of all of them. I've got all the Rugrats set, set. I did buy Crumb because he's my favourite from Our Real Monsters. Um, but I laid off on Ickus and Oblina and I'm glad I did because they brought out this angry Ickus, which I am much rather prefer in my collection than the normal Ickus. He just looks awesome with his teeth there. And then these two I actually got, they were delayed because of some kind of um, shipping issue or something, or manufacturing issue, I don't exactly know why, we got them about a week later, so which is good because I was actually able to pre-order them. Um, so the first one we got is, again, another one I wasn't going to get, but when it came I was like, uh, yeah, I'll get it. Um, but even now I'm still, I'm in an R-ing, we got 8-bit uh, Batman. I, d I still don't know how I feel about this pop. I don't... They're not pops to me. 8-bit pop. They're not pops. They're, they should have brought them out in a separate line of things. Um, I don't know. Fun Funko keep doing more of them. I'm just gonna... What annoyed me the most about this and even the, the Foot Soldier ones is that they weren't... 
The Dig Dug one, I understand. Makes complete sense. 8 bit character in the game, 8 bit pop. Yep, get it. Um, I understand Batman has been in video games and stuff, but he's not an iconic 8 bit character. Um, if, you, if you were to get the Nintendo franchises into a Zelda or a Mario, it makes sense. So I'm not a big fan of them, but. I don't know, it's growing on me, it's growing on me. And the last but not least from this group, guys, uh, probably the one that I was 100% wanted to get this con, um, it was the one that, without a doubt, I was always going to get. We've got Crumboculus Michael from good old Rick and Morty, guys. Um, this is a must-have, obviously. Um, Rick and Morty is kind of the best of my collection at the moment, so um, I'm making sure I'm keeping up-to-date with those. I'm also really excited for the, uh, I think it's Cornelius Daniel or Corvelius Daniel, uh, with the Szechuan sauce, that's going to be awesome addition, and we've got uh, Series 3 of Rick and Morty coming as well, uh, along with the two pickle Rick Pops, and the two, um, actually they've got a lot of Rick and Morty Pops coming out, the two Toxic Rick and Morty is coming out, I've got those ordered as well, so whenever they come out guys, we will be able to go through those and get those. So that was two of my orders, um, like I said, small orders, I then did two big orders online, uh, originally I did a order of just ones that I kind of wanted, uh, that's the order that hasn't come, and I've since bought some of those as well, so I'll have doubles when they come, um, and then I did another order because uh, actually a American friend hit me up, he was chasing something and he was really desperate for them, and I knew that I'd be able to hopefully get them through a smaller retailer here in Australia, um, so I asked him if he wanted if I he wanted me to get them for him, and he said yes. So I made another order, guys, and that's this order here in this big box here. So I added some extra stuff just to kind of make shipping a little bit better. Um, yeah, <laughs> I always do that. Like they always have a lot of the smaller retailers, even the bigger retailers, have like uh, free shipping on over a hundred or hundred fifty dollars. So I always make sure if I'm gonna do an order with them that I make sure I get that free shipping. I know shipping's only like $10, but like if I'm going to buy the amount of pops anyway, eventually I may as well do um, do a bigger order and just get them all shipped for free. Uh, so this has come from Hero Stash, guys. So I think I talked about Hero Stash before um, on this channel. I'm not 100% sure if I have, actually. Um, so Simon over there, he runs it by himself. He's an absolutely mad guy. Um, just, I think I've... One of my give... Uh, one of my videos, I think I got stuff from Simon. One of the waffle wins I got from way back, um, Simon sent to me. I'm always really impressed with how he packs his stuff. He packs it superbly. He's a collector himself, so he knows about that, guys. So I will put his link down in the description. Um, so go check him out. It's uh, herostash.com.au, I think it is. But I'll put the link down in the description, guys, if you want any uh, pop finals or collectibles from him. Highly recommend him. Packs amazingly very quick probably the quickest i've ever had um in terms of turnaround from when you order to when you actually get your your items um the other company that i did order with is aussie collectibles i'll put them down as well guys unfortunately their parcel hasn't come um but that's okay uh they're they're very busy i understand that but they always look after me over at aussie um but, like, just the difference, I put in the Aussie Collectibles order first, a couple of days before I put in this order, and this order's already gotten here, um, whereas Aussie's taken a while to get around to it. Um, so props to Simon, man, um, absolute legend, getting this out as quick as possible. So, some of these are just random pops, so I'll try and kind of distinguish the ones from there. Some of them are New York City Comic Con, some of them are doubles, um, but there's a lot in here, so let's get into it. So this first one, guys, is actually a really funny one. So we have the Black and Gold Dragon Zord, guys. Funny story about this pop. I wasn't originally going to get any of the Dragon Zords. Um, I love Power Rangers. You guys, if you know me, you know I like Power Rangers. Uh, and I wasn't going to get any of them. And then I saw the normal Dragon Zord, which I ordered with Aussie Collectibles. I saw that. Um... I, can't, I had to have it. I was like, I need to have that. And then I was still having an iron on the gold one. And then people kept on posting photos of theirs, getting them. And I was like, I need the black and gold one as well. So I hopped back on when I did my reorder with Simon. Um, and I got the black and gold Dragon Zord. It is amazing looking. Um, I'm still really, really excited to get my normal Dragon Zord coming. Uh, but the black and gold one for now, I'm not going to complain about. He looks awesome and he will probably be an out of box one. Um, I wanted to just go back and I originally wanted to have all the Power Rangers. 
And I did sell them all, but now I'm like the, they brought out the Zords and Megazord I'm getting as well. It's on its way. Um, so I just wanted to have the Dragon Zord and Tommy, like Green Ranger. And I've also got the Red Ranger with his with the same shield. I forget what it's called, Power Shield or something. Uh, Green Ranger's shield, and I've got the Megazord coming as well. So it'll be really cool having the Dragon Zord and the Megazord with Tommy and Jason in both the shield armor when I eventually get them. Um, so they're coming with the Aussie Collectibles order, guys. Like I said, I'll, I have some random stuff coming in that order as well, so I'm going to try and, like, I don't know, I'll just, like, split it up, maybe, because I've got some random stuff in here that I want to save for another video. But let's get let's get back into it. The Dragon Zord looks fucking amazing. So Simon is so good at packing that he packed a box inside a box, which is just amazing. Like I said, I've dealt with a lot of, I, I try and I've said it numerous times on this channel, guys. I try and support the little guys where I can. Obviously there's some times where bigger business is going to get my money. Um, especially now that I'm working back for one of those bigger businesses. Um, I do get discounts, so um, kind of pays to work there. Uh, but... I do try and support the little guys when I can, and the good thing about supporting the little guys is uh, some of them like to go to that extra effort of packaging, and Simon over at Hero Stash is definitely in that category, guys. Uh, and I've, I've bought from a lot of people, and his, his has got to be probably the best packaging I've ever seen. So we have a bunch of pops in this box, which I'm really excited about. And, wow, actually, half of them aren't even New York City comic books. <laughs> I will leave half of these for another video. I didn't realize how many of them I bought that aren't New York City Comic Con. There's only there's only two in here that are New York City Comic Con, and I've already shown you one of them because one of them's a double for an American that's, that I uh, that I grabbed for. So let's put some of these to the side, and I'll, they'll be all raring to go for another video when I get the uh, other stuff in. Okay, I'll do these three. So I had six in this box. Two of them are con, one of them, well one of them, I'll do the other one, yeah. I'm talking to myself. So I also got, he had on sale, Man Back Guys from San Diego Comic Con. So, unfortunately San Diego Comic Con was the first con that I missed, I guess you'd, you'd say. The only pop that I bought was Tinkles um, and Ghost in a Jar, and even that I managed to um, score from a very lovely lady. Um, I didn't buy any, like when the con came out. Um, I was actually in between jobs at that time, so I didn't have a lot of money to spend. Um, so I was very lucky that I actually had someone um, offer to send me Tinkles free of charge, because that was my like must-have from that con. But the other one that I really wanted, which I now have, because I do still collect the uh, animated series Batman, is Man Bat. Now this is an awesome looking pop guys. I'm really impressed with what they're doing with the animated series once I hope they bring out a wave three. Um, I'm actually still waiting on Phantasm from the wave two. I think he's been released now, but I have a pre-order with him. I think with Aussie collectibles as well. So hopefully he comes in that parcel. Um, but really, really excited with what they're doing with this line. The sculpts on them look awesome. It just brings me back to my childhood. Um, I kind of grew up on animated series Batman. It was probably the first, um, I guess installment of Batman that I watched, um, at least that I can remember, um, that was, you know, in terms of a cartoon, it was definitely the, the big cartoon when I was a kid. So to be able to get all of these characters and hopefully more characters down the line in that kind of thing, I'm really excited about. Now the next one guys is again, I'll show him. We have another black chrome Batman um, that I'm getting for one of my friends over in the US because I know apparently these have been very difficult to come by. They're, they're getting very difficult. They, well, they are. They're sold out here now. Um, but at the time, they were very. They were still very difficult to find. Uh, and the next one is, again, one that uh, I've got for myself coming. But this is also for um, for a uh, American friend. We have the Glow in the Dark Green Ranger, guys. Now, this is an awesome looking pop. I wanted to get him, like I said, to go with the Dragon Zord that I have coming in my other order. Um, but unfortunately that order didn't show up in time and I was getting really impatient I wanted to make this video for you guys because I've spent way too much money on New York Comic Con and I wanted you guys to feel that pain with me but at the same time I'm really happy with the ones that I got um, I'm really excited to see the normal Dragon Zord come it's the only pop out of all the all my New York City Comic Cons that hasn't shown up 
and like I said in that Aussie collectibles order I have a, a Green Ranger as well and a bunch of other stuff that I just couldn't help myself so I'll do a big um, collection video when that stuff comes because I've got three pops here uh, which I'm not telling you which ones they are but I've got three here that I'll do I'll add into whatever comes extra to that uh, Aussie collectibles order and put a video up when that comes out guys and that is it for New York City Comic Con. As always, I whinged about it. I said that I was going to buy one pop and I bought... How many did I fucking buy? Well, one, one, two, four, six, seven, eight. I bought eight pops. That is not too bad. Not too bad considering how many there were. Obviously, it pays that I've um, cut back on a lot of my, my uh, collection. And I'm not collecting as many series anymore. So it's not as important to me to be getting uh, the ones that I need. But I'm glad I was able to get the ones that I wanted. I'm glad I was able to help out a fellow uh, US collector. Um, wherever you guys can help out collectors, make sure you do. Um, don't try and... I, I hate what the pop community is turning into. And it's part of the reason why I've kind of cut back on collecting a lot. Every Everyone wants something for nothing. And everyone wants to try and screw people over. And it's just... It's become a very vicious collect collectible place. Uh, in terms of yeah, in terms of trying to get collectibles, it's the community is very. I don't know. I don't know the word for it. They're not as not as community orientated, to be honest, as they used to be. Everyone used to help each other out um, in securing things, and now they don't. So it's if you can if if you're an American and you know that there's an exclusive over there that we don't get in Australia, and you have an Australian friend, offer them to uh, you know buy that and sell them, and, and vice versa. Um, I know that the uh, American guy that I'm helping out is very grateful that I'm able to get these pops. And that's all about collecting, guys, is sharing that love of collecting and kind of having that good community feel. And that's exactly what um, I hope I can bring with this channel. And I hope that you guys um, have that kind of feeling towards whatever you collect. Because that's, that's the important part of kind of being a nerd and being a geek, being able to, like, level with everyone and have a good conversation and kind of just... Um, I guess, make friendships through your collection. And I just rambled for like five minutes, guys, but that is the end of the video. Um, as always, if you are new here, make sure to subscribe to Greed. I know we had a few new subscribers, uh, actually, since I've been really uh, inactive. So welcome if you are new. Um, thank you very much for hitting that little red button down there. Greatly appreciate it. Um, and as always, if you like these kind of pop unboxings, I won't be doing a lot of pop unboxings, but they, they always pop up on my channel, guys, because I can't stay away from Funko, no matter how much I try. Um, smash that like button, guys, so I know that you guys are enjoying it. Like I said, hopefully we have a heap more content coming to the channel. I've got some really cool things that have come and I've recorded. I've got some things coming that I'm really excited for, so... A lot in the works um, leading up to Christmas. Hopefully I can get some stuff out for you and, uh, and yeah, get some more content out. And no matter where you are in the world, guys, I hope you're having a fantastic day and I shall catch you guys next time.